Hey guys, it is Christy K and I'm back with my go-to makeup routine. This takes me maybe like 10 minutes to get all of this done. It's real quick, it's fast, it's just some of my favorite things. I'm gonna give y'all a little chit chat. If you like this look and you wanna see how I got it, keep watching. Going out with the girls, it's been a long week. So I'm gonna get out. And I feel like I always like reach for the same stuff. So this is an oldie but goodie. This came out like during quarantine. Milani Cool and Vicious Salt and Pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Take this little golden color right here. And I'm just keeping it quick and simple. And ooh, you know what gold? You better, you better, you know what? I love me some gold. It is giving me like what needed to be gave. Also, like, I'm gonna do my makeup how I really just do it, like, I guess my updated makeup routine. Like, this palette right here, I don't have the shimmer shades. I mean, pretty shades that I want. So I'm gonna use this Tartlet Full Bloom. Then I'm gonna go with um, Independent in that one. I'm gonna start with Independent. I'm gonna start that in the crease. I'm gonna take another brush, a smaller one. I'm gonna kind of go over that with Generous. Deepen it up, take the same brush. And then I'm gonna go in with Garden right here. And take that, keep it going. I'm almost like smoking this out. Like, don't matter if you make a mess. I'm just gonna wipe off what I don't want. But I want that build up right here. I'm gonna take this shade right here, Fresh Picks, and I'm gonna use that on my brow bone. Just generously run it under. And I'm just gonna blend and blend and blend into it's to my liking. Actually, I kinda wanna put a little red right there, but I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill. It's about to be dark where I'm going anyway. It's about to be dark, it's about to be hot, it's about to be sweaty. So I'm just gonna take this little makeup wipe. There it is. Clean up that little mess. This Tarte Primer, Double Duty, is probably like my favorite primer right now. Like, it's hydrating. What I'm working on right now is I am working on um, just kind of like letting my freckles show. I'm not gonna say I was the full coverage girl. I am still a full coverage girl. I'm trying to embrace the fact that I don't need that every day. And especially since it's been hot. If you don't know, Milani Conceal Perfect is my shade. It's not my shade, but it's like one of my favorite foundations. And this is the Danessa Merrick's Beauty Oil. It is amazing. When I say it's amazing, it's amazing. So I'll put a little foundation on the spatula, on the thing, and I'm gonna add like two drops. And this beauty oil has like um, gold flecks in it. And I like to just put it on with my finger. This is shade number nine. And as you can see, like right here, it looks good, but there is dark. And even this brush right here, it's not for full coverage. That's what I'm using this blending out. But because it's the summertime and I've gotten darker, I can wear number nine, but on my forehead, it kind of gets a little ashy. But I have a fix for that. I'm gonna take my shape tape and just hit it underneath my eyes. A little here, a little there. And then NYX Wonder Sticks, they redid them. It has the dark on the bottom and then the shimmery like on the top. Before it used to be like a concealer shade, but it wasn't really that good. These things have been out for years and I have been using these for years. I was excited like when they got it together. So I'm going out pre-game. Little Shrewly. Me in LA, everywhere we go to drinks is like $25 and I be thirsty. So I like to get started at home. You see how I blended it out and you can't tell that it's too light. Do the same thing here. You know when you do this, you wanna make sure you blend up because you wanna lift your face. You don't wanna pull it down. And then here, I'm gonna pull it down. Then what I like to do is just go in with my foundation brush. Marry it all in. For my concealer, I'm kind of obsessed with using a brush. Um, when I took Sir John's class, like, he said he don't really use sponges like that. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get like Beyonce. So you know what, I'm gonna learn how to get this doing without no sponge and now it is like one of my favorite things i let it sit so it could be more for coverage 
and you see how I'm bringing that up to was added into like how I kind of cat eyed it go back in with my brush blend everything out make sure like the lines blend I like to start with my fingers and pull this down and then I'll just grab a brush and keep it going and I like to press in right here because I don't like lines but it's like a nice subtle shadow so back to NYX the wonder six they got it in blush um these come in, i think in six shades so it's a darker one and a lighter one i like to just like use them both so i'll smile one on one side one on the other side make a little x and then blend that out then you know my favorite part because i'm a glow girl is um the highlighter take it swipe like a little bit right here a little bit right here I'll use my finger for that the warmth from my finger is gonna melt this in also right here too this is my Laura and this is my Fenty I mix those together it's the Fenty banana um underneath my eyes I already got a little mixture mixed together in this top so I do two things I'll take a brush and I'll push it in okay so I try not to cover my freckles but the blush and stuff is and so I take this little thing and I dip into it and I just like press it in and all the places that I don't really want to be sweating this is an oldie but goodie this is a the Kylie powder it's like in the medium shade this is the old formula but you know what I still got it it still works so what I'm gonna use speaking of Sir John this Lion King palette is forever going to be my favorite thing. Um, I got two. This one he signed. It's fading, but I love it. So I'm going to take this dark color. Even though I put on a deeper color here, I'm still going to put it here to start the base. I'm also going to use that to set my nose contour. Give it a good blend. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here and just kind of deepen it on the cheeks. I kind of like to tap to place it and then I like to just kind of go over everything. Add some highlighters, dose of colors, it's chasing the sun, it's an old diva goodie, they don't sell it no more, but my ex broke mine. Like he came in my little section one day being drunk and knocked it over and broke it. And I found one on eBay. If you like this color, you probably can still get one because this was not even that long ago. And then a little blush. This is NARS Orgasm X. It's my favorite. I usually mix both of them, but I already have this on my cheek. So I'm just adding a pit of red to the cheek. With the apple and the smile, I like to take it up here too. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Stay Spray. This spray is waterproof and it missed out. That's why I really like it. So you see how it's like. If Urban Decay All Nighter spray it like this, it would be the one. This is a Tarte Quick Stick. It's double duty. So for me, I'm just going to put a little bit right here underneath my eyes. This is like a bronzy liner. I'm going to go over it with something, but I don't want to do black today. I want to chill. I don't want it to be that harsh because, again, it's kind of a chill night. It's about to be dark where I'm at. And, and I'm wearing sneakers. So that's what it is. Going back to the Salt and Pepper palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here. It's called my mic sound nice. And I'm gonna set that. I am gonna need a little bit of black. This is an oldie but goodie. I'm gonna sharpen it. This is Urban Decay Zero. And I'm just gonna put this in the waterline. Tight line also. Oh my god, I remember the first time somebody tight lined on me. I was at Smashbox and I did this. Almost hit the girl like, uh-uh, don't be sticking stuff in my eyes. It's something you gotta get used to. Take my Tarte Double Take Liner. Tarte does everything double. I love it, it makes life easier. And I'm gonna set the base for my eyeliner. Because this is the Tarte Man Eater Prime for underneath the lashes. I like to put on a coat of mascara because like if you don't, sometimes you can see them and it'll be looking gray and it's not cute. I still wanna do the bottom. So sometimes, like when I feel like it, Makeup Forever has this, what is this called? I don't know what it's called, but it's for your freckles. I use it for my molds. I used to use an eyeliner, but I kept wiping it off. This don't come off. 
anybody who know me know red is my signature this is the mac fashion legacy literally my favorite red this one is still a base though like my favorite so the prettiest red so this is my kiss liner glue this liner is bay I, I, I can't live without this so i'm just gonna go over the liner that i already set down like you don't even gotta let it um like dry you just stick it down immediately and then i'll take my little these and i just make them go up for the drama okay so let me let that dry a little bit set my roadie i'm gonna finish getting dressed and i'll be back okay so i have gotten dressed for the evening it's giving round the way girl with my little fubu earrings i'm a little fubu necklace a little onesie some shorts my little bag got the little gold chain on it put on some black white and gold ones high tops um i'm from la like we going to the dime the dime is the thing on friday night so i'm gonna go get it in but this completes the look you guys if you like it make sure you give me a thumbs up if you've been to the dime tell me if you like it if you've been there and you heard that the alcohol ain't real all the time let me know like is that a thing or is that really a thing but with that said you guys thank you so much for watching all these sound effects been quiet all day so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe if y'all like my hair my little hairdo make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video and with that said i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.